All right, good morning, y'all. We got some motherfucking McKellar. This is that chick chick chickery that I uh, already uh, drank on camera. Figured I'd have another one. It was a good one, and I wanted to have it. This one was the Porter, brewed with chicory root and coffee. Figured it would go well as a breakfast beer. <clears throat> All right, we got our uh, Moon Soaps Havana Candle Burning. So it's a candle's lit shave. Put that over on the window pane. We are going to be using some Barrister and Man's Terror, though. Pretty cool label. It comes with a uh, unwarranted warning on the side. I'll let you see that there. Caution, extremely cold. Keep away from eyes and anything else you would prefer not to freeze. You've been warned. <clears throat> I would recommend keep away from eyes, but... <clears throat> this is a really fresh, great morning scent. Um, it does kind of have that chilly vibe to it, you know, like cold, crisp air type vibe. We are not going to forget to use the Sterling Mentholated Pre-Shave. Do not let me forget to use the Sterling Mentholated Pre-Shave. Okay. So, I'm going to be using my Wild West Brushworks handle right here. Very nice looking handle. Uh, it has a synthetic boss knot style um, top on it. I already had some blooming water on top of the soap in the bowl so I didn't actually dunk my synthetic I just kinda immersed it in the blooming water and we're just gonna go right from there and add water as needed um, I don't normally do that but I did that this time I was planning to lather off camera but it seems like whatever game plan I set in place I will forget <laughs> I'll, I'll just go off the script and a lot of times that's just where I'm most comfortable, is just kind of winging it. So, no big deal there. Try to whip up a lather real quickly. This um, Robert Quintero uh, designed bowl and modified by Tony Dillette is really a nice um, shaving bowl. I have learned um, to lather in it, bowl lather, a little bit different than my Lancaster and my, um, what do you call it? And my Captain's Choice Bowl. In those bowls, I kind of spread the lather out as far as I can, making a thin, um, a thin layer that stretches evenly across the entire length of the bowl. And I find that helps incorporate the lather faster, because instead of having one big mound of soap, kind of in the central spot in the middle and you gotta kinda erode away at that mound instead of doing it that way I find that having the uh, soap as a thin layer stretched um, evenly across the bowl it helps it incorporate it even faster and you find less soap left over on the walls of your bowl but with this one these ridges there's like so many ridges and bumps and I find soap really likes to hide in those crevices. And so I have taken more of a mound in the middle approach when using this bowl. Um, it's not my favorite way to do things, but it's not the end of the world either. I just keep eroding away at that mound until it's eventually all gone. And um, that's just fine. And it's just fine. You know, it works. It's just not my favorite way to do it. <clears throat> okay, I think we got a good lather. Now this one has that synthetic um, cooling agent. So synthetic menthol, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to bust out the ice saber. Because synthetic menthol doesn't really do shit for me. It gives more of a tingling effect than a cooling effect. So we're just going to add some real menthol crystals. 
I like adding menthol once the lather has kind of already been built. I find it has less of a negative effect at that point. There we go. So I'm going to add some real menthol to the mix. Incorporate that real quick. And then we'll get going. This one is in the Barrister and Man's Excelsior base, which is a uh, highly regarded soap base. I really enjoy it. A lot of people seem to have, um, you know, they. a lot of people who have tried the Soft Heart series seem to think the Soft Heart series is um, slightly better. And I would agree, but that is no knock on Excelsior. It is still really good stuff. So we get some moisture on the face. And then we're not going to forget to put the Sterling Menthol Heat and Pre-Shave on. This time. So there we go. Sterling Menthol Heat and Pre-Shave. We'll pull that soap bar out. We will incorporate some of this. I have just under 24 hours growth. Which um, should be easy to mow down with this uh, Henkel's free door that I'm going to be using. I submitted my first two videos to the uh, razor company yesterday. They said they liked them. I'm curious to see if they, uh, they feel the need to edit anything out. <laughs> I'm not trying to push my limits with them. But, um, you know... When you're a bit of a loose cannon like me, sometimes you wanna you wanna see where those limits are. <laughs> I didn't do nothing I didn't do nothing wild, but I just thought it was funny when they said minimize cussing. And then I said, Do you want no cussing at all? <laughs> but um yeah, I'm not trying to uh, sour that relationship or anything. I just uh just wanted to know. All right, now we got that Sterling Mentholate pre-shave kind of worked up. My hands are nice and slick now. Let's go ahead and get that off and then we'll get this lather started. So this is just a nice, I think it's a bright scent, even though I think it's supposed to have like woods and I think it was supposed to have like murder or something in it I didn't look up the scent notes I'm just trying to go off memory but it does have a really like fresh crisp scent that kind of goes with the whole like you know treacherous sea type deal you know the treacherous o ocean so, it is really, really a good one for the morning, I think. Bright, crisp, fresh. Um, <clears throat> that, uh, like I said, that synthetic menthol doesn't really do shit for me. I've, uh, I've used, like, over 40 drops of that Terraraid synthetic menthol additive. And, uh, people were kind of going a little bit crazy <laughs> when and when they saw that video. But, it, it just, it is what it is, you know? I don't know what the fuck the deal is. I've had people say, you know, it's just not affecting you as much because you don't get it down into the beard. Ken from Shave326 said that. So I did a video where I got it down into the beard, you know, all the way, all the way throughout the face. I've jumped every hurdle and skepticism that they've thrown at me. We got the Hankel's free door here with that beautiful spine work right there. Let's get into it. Yep, when it comes to the synthetic menthol, I've jumped every hurdle that they've thrown at me. 
Sometimes you just got to deal with the fact that it doesn't work for everybody. I wish it did. The thought of synthetic menthol not ruining the uh, scent on, on your favorite uh, soaps and fragrances. It's um, a very attractive feature of synthetic menthol. But if you're actually aiming to get some cooling and the cooling action doesn't work for you, you just get more of a a tingling feeling, which is more akin to like an allergic reaction, although it, it doesn't feel the same as a like an allergic reaction. There's no burning. It's just kind of tingling. And I feel like that's not an adequate substitute for cooling or chill factor. <clears throat> so, you know, it just doesn't really cut it for me so that's why I like using real menthol and I found with this um, organic menthol that I bought on um, Amazon this organic menthol crystals that when I broke it down shoved it into the uh, the um, grind gourmet salt shaker if anybody was interested um i put it into the mint dealer and i find that that menthol doesn't really bring much um fragrance of its own into the mix so I was pleasantly surprised to find that it doesn't really interfere whatsoever with um, my favorite soaps and my favorite fragrances and wet shaving. So that was a huge plus. Because fragrance is like, <laughs> you know, like 75% of why I, why I uh, shave this way. At first it was just kind of like the, the whole getting a better shave but then after I got my shave down pat I really went down the rabbit hole of uh, trying all these awesome fragrances that the wet shaving um, community has introduced to me and that's kind of like a whole nother ball game that's like where I really found you know my true love of this hobby is the fragrance and the shave is kind of secondary don't get me wrong, I love getting a nice, you know, clean, damn fine shave, just like the next guy, but fragrance is really what does it for me. You don't really see me making a lot of, these are my top performing razors and my top performing soap bases, because, <laughs> but you will see me making, these are my favorite scentless, because that that's more what matters to me, you know what I mean? Those, uh... The, the sense, the fragrance. If you uh, got your technique down and you've reached a certain level of uh, consistency with your shaves, your technique just comes natural. You could almost use anything <laughs> and get a good shave out of it. Really, there's nothing more that needs to be done on that front when you can use almost any soap, almost any razor, you know, and get consistent results out of it. So, what matters at that point, you start kind of leaning towards the fragrance, I believe. Or you, you find the next, the next skill to learn and pursue. And, um, that in itself can be a fun journey. Like I started straight razor shaving last year and 
it wasn't it was daunting at first but really it I picked up on it really quickly and I think um, you know I kind of have a little bit of a cheat code because I don't do obviously the the bulk of my face I don't get that chin line which I assume is the bane for a lot of people as well as the mustache area so you know I have a little bit of a cheat code but I found getting comfortable with the razor in my hand was um it didn't take long I'd say by the time I had those 30 shaves that everybody talks about I was I was comfortable you know what I mean everybody will have a lot a lapse of concentration and cut themselves from time to time but that became way less frequent when I got those 30 shaves done. So, it just, it is what it is. I love it when the uh, the straight razor catches those hairs and starts to sing. That's just such a nice... <laughs> That's one thing, if I was clean shaven, I think that is one element that, would, that I would appreciate just so much more. Because I, I get the, uh, I get the razor to sing for me, but it's usually solely on the against the grain pass. <clears throat> And, um, that's one aspect that I wish <laughs> I got a little bit more of. Obviously, if I shaved the whole face, that would be, you know, a part of my everyday shave, but that's not what I do here, so. I just appreciate the little bit that I get on the Against the Grain Pass. I absolutely love this free door. Feels great in the hand. I'm a sucker for that spine work. And it shaves great. The edge on it, really smooth. This was an eBay edge, I believe. I'm having trouble remembering right now, but I believe it was an eBay edge. So. They can be found, not saying it's the norm, but they can be found at a, a decent eBay edge. I think some of it has to do with, um, you know, where you're purchasing it from. If you're buying a stray razor from somebody with, like, bad reviews or they don't have a long eBay history, you might be ordering from somebody who just found it at, you know, like in a garage, cleaned it up a little bit, and then put it on eBay, and they know nothing about wet shaving or straight razors. Um, but if you do a little bit of research, you could always message the, the person selling it, and I almost always do message the person selling what I'm interested in buying, and ask them, hey, you know, who honed this? How was it honed? You know, get inquisitive. You're the one, you're the one buying it. You don't have to just take it at face value. Fucking zoom in on things. Is that, is that a deep scratch or is that, you know, just a little bit of gunk on the surface? What is this? What is that? Can you take additional pictures for me? There's no, no reason not to get, you know, ask for additional information. The worst they can do is not reply, and then it's up to you, you know, whether or not you want to buy it at that point. 
All right, let's get this off the face. Wear my Lancaster towel. That was a great shave though. Nice invigorating morning shave. Nice clean, fresh scent. Somewhat simplistic in nature. I don't think it's a very complex or um, daunting fragrance <laughs> to encounter. I think it's rather simplistic and um, good, really good for a, a morning shave. Get you a little bit of that that chill factor to help wake you up and then a nice fresh fragrance to ease you into your day all right so first thing I'm gonna do is throw on a little bit of this Barbus active which is another fresh scent actually you know what let's do it the other way Let's hit a little bit of this matching aftershave balm. We'll do that first. This has that cooling in it. This is the only Barrister and Man um, aftershave balm that I have. I'm not super interested in getting um, a ton of aftershave balms. I actually was just talking about this to someone recently that we were both kind of thinking of just getting an unscented balm um, once we use all of our scented balms just getting an unscented balm and um, kind of just sticking with unscented balm going forward I like having the matching aftershave product but I I don't know, there's just something about balms that I find it unnecessary, having the matching balm. I'd rather just have, I, I'd rather do the mix and match with my aftershave splashes, where my real enjoyment comes from, and then, um, rather than doing matching balms. <clears throat> we'll get some of this Barbus Active on top of that. Now we're set. Got some of that skin food. Got some of that pleasant, fresh scent. And the Barbus dude, I heard, has the Rona, unfortunately. And he's always so supportive of our community. And um, really, really good guy. Member of our wet shaving community. So, he's going to be down and out for a little while. So, please, if you've been wanting anything from Barbus... Now is probably the time to do it. Give him a little, uh, give him a little support since he shows so many of us support. Um, it'll it, it'll be appreciated. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this Saturday morning shave. Cheers. I love all the support. I'll catch you on the next one.